Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome to your weekly pick a card video. This is for um, April 27th through May 3rd. We are officially almost in May, and I hope that you are all doing okay. I hope that um, you're staying well, and I really, uh, I really, really, really do uh, hope that everything is going fine, that you're following the directions of the CDC and local health officials, local and state health officials, that you ain't doing nothing stupid. Um, and if your state is opening back up, please don't, don't, don't fall for it. It's a trap. Um, so, uh, the decks that I'm using are the, uh, are Connected and Free, the Alchemist Oracle by Inner Hue. Um, the Shits and Giggles Oracle, which is mine and is available at the link in my bio. And, uh, the Golden Girls Tarot. I do have a reading, um called thank you the thank you for being a friend reading it is how to embody each of the characters of the golden girls into your life to be better to yourself um it is available um at the book a reading link in my bio and i do use the golden girls tarot for that um i have a i'm, I'm going to be doing a collective angel energy uh healing session on um Thursday at 4 p.m. It is donation based, you, and it's not going to be a live thing, so you don't have to worry about showing up. Um, for any uh, for any donation amount, um, you will, I'll, I will include your petition in there. And at four o'clock, I'm going to do a healing for the collective um, for everybody that donated. So whether it's a dollar or whether it's forty dollars, whatever whatever the case may be, um, you can go to the link in my bio and donate there um just to kind of get some energy healing um and you don't have to do anything except be open to receiving it um that's all you have to do you don't have to show up live you don't have to carve time out of your day unless you just want to just free yourself up at 4 p.m eastern time um but that's pretty much all that there is there there will be a pricing and services change um in may so if you are looking at a reading um it is very important that if you see one that you like, um, you might want to snack it because I'm getting rid of a few options and the pricing is going to increase. My readings have been $10 off for um, about a month and a half now. So uh, the pricing is going to change a little bit. Um, but if you are in the Angels in You program, um, you will get a discount code to keep the readings the same price, um, which we are going to be studying Archangel Michael in the Angels and You program um, for the month of May. So the Angel of Protection and the Angel of Safety and Life Purpose. And there are some really uh, crazy energy exercises to do with Archangel Michael. So um, if you are interested in that, it is literally $5 and you get the PDF. Um, for $10, you get the PDF and access to a Facebook group where I go live at the end of the month. Um, to talk about experiences and things of that nature. And there's a $20 group where um, you get all the stuff I just mentioned and a channeled message from Francisco for the group um, there in that month. So go check that out. Um, people are having a lot of fun with it. You get the um, an MP3 version of the Angel Attunement Meditation when you sign up. And people have been doing that like every day and it even made one person cry. So... Um, go do that and okay so that's enough of announcements <laughs> um, so we are going to dig into your week so you can choose rose quartz green adventuring or pyrite pause and choose and now that you've chosen we are going to move these out of the way all right let's see what we got Okay, this is actually really awesome, even though it doesn't seem like it. <laughs> the fuck everything card. This card says, you fucked up, so clean it up, be a goddamn adult. And you have Sophia as the magician, and then you have the fun card. So, you know, we all make mistakes, we all, we all just do stupid shit sometimes, and we don't even think about it. So, instead of judging yourself for like a mistake that you made, or for something that you did wrong... 
just own up to it and just say, you know what, I messed up on this. I should have done this. I should have been more careful. I should have double checked things and just be like, okay, and just own up to it. Because when you look at your mistakes and when you look at things that you wish you had done right or that you could have done right or that you just did wrong entirely, there's a magic in looking at it and saying, you know what, I'm not gonna beat myself up for it. I'm gonna learn from it and I'm going to do better next time. And what's a way to do that? A way to do that and a way to realize your power and the power that you have is to have fun. It's no coincidence that there is a wand here and a wand here. You hold the key and the power to shape the experiences that you have. And you can experience something that you made a mistake with through the lens of beating yourself up and just saying, I'm a failure and nothing's ever going to work out right. Or you can say, you know what? I learned something and I can do better next time. So this week, go very easy on yourself. Don't, don't be so hard on yourself because like we're in the middle of a global fucking pandemic. So if you do something that, you know, or if you make a mistake or you, you miss a goal or something like that, it doesn't matter. Just be easy on yourself and know that you hold the power to change your life but you have to like know what you want to change, right? So the power in acknowledging that you fucked up is the power in that knowing you can change it for the next time. And that's where the true magic is, all right? And we also had a stone of rose quartz, so that's a bit of self-love talk too. So, you know, for me, like yesterday, I didn't work out, but I ate three pieces of cheesecake, but it was fine. <laughs> like I wasn't too hard on myself um, and it, it all worked out, right? So. Be nice to yourself. So now we have green adventuring. I purposefully chose all, all the crystals to be rather small, um, which is kind of cool. I like it. Very nice. Um, so we have the fuck you card. We have the eight of swords and we have loudspeaker. So. I mean, first, looking at the Eight of Swords cards, um, it reminds me of the episode where they were um, thought of as like prostitutes and, <laughs> and they were at that hotel and they all got, um, they all got put in, in prison and they were like, aren't you old to be a prostitute? Uh, <laughs> um, so we have Fuck You, it says you are being a bitch about this, get your shit together. We have the Eight of Swords and we have the loud speaker card. So looking at these, you're really being called to acknowledge the ways in which you are holding yourself back. And it feels like there's a lot of thoughts and a lot of mindsets that are keeping you from being in the place that you want to be in. And with the loudspeaker card, this card is kind of saying that like in every like every moment, like there's a new opportunity where you can like shift and where you can move. And when you can either continue to paint with the same colors that you've been painting with, or you can choose to use like a rainbow of colors. So especially like in this tricky time, I know that mental health is something that's very, very like important and mental health, like especially during this time is something that should be looked after and your thought life and your energy and stuff like that. So, if you're, this is the second message about being hard on yourself. If you're being hard on yourself, really pay attention to how those thoughts are keeping you from being who you truly want to be. Because the Eight of Swords and the Loudspeaker card actually go together very, uh, very well. Because in any given moment, you're given the opportunity to either say, I'm going to choose different thoughts, or I'm going to choose the same thoughts that have been keeping me stuck here. And the get your shit together part of this card is saying, hey, like get it together like you're in this you're in this space because your thoughts are not allowing you to move and you're not allowing your thoughts to allow you to move so allow your thoughts to move allow yourself to move past these thoughts because the only person that controls your thoughts are you so ask yourself at any given moment are you are you going to paint with the same colors you've been painting with the black the white the like nasty dirty brown colors and like the nasty dirty green colors or are you going to start painting with a rainbow with all the colors of the wind as Pocahontas said it's the choice is honestly up to you and no one can do it for you okay move the 
is over, and we're gonna talk about the last card. Pyrite. Ooh, I like it. Um, so we have the health card, we have the page of swords, and we have higher knowledge. Ah, this is such a good combo. So I just spoke about mental health and then the health card comes up. So the health card says, take care of your mental and physical health right now. Everything else can wait. Take care of your own shit before you help others. And so what, what this is talking about right now is this higher knowledge aspect of this card is saying, hey, like the higher knowledge and the higher wisdom that is coming through for all of us right now is to take time to heal ourselves, to take time to work on ourselves, to work on our vibration, to work on our energy, to work on our physical health, our mental health, our spiritual health, our emotional health. Like that's what this time is for. And there's an emphasis on physical health right now, which is super, super, super important, but we can't forget about everything else too, right? Because you can be physically healthy. You can have an 18 pack and be active and run 20 miles every day. But if your insides are... Are not good if your insides need love then what good is it you know what i mean so you need to carve time out to take care of your health and the higher knowledge is knowing that all of these health systems all these energy systems are connected and what needs to happen is this page of swords so you need to be able to tell people and articulate the needs that you have to take care of your own energy and to take care of your own space especially when people don't understand that like, and people don't understand the word no, and people don't understand I can't right now. So be very, 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 like, cut straight to the point. Don't don't be like, well, you know, I need to, I don't know if I should, I really need to do this, or I really need to do that for myself. Say, so I would love to help, but I can't right now, get back to me later. And like, cut the conversation off. Like, this is a week for you to really focus on your health. If you've been getting those nudges to like, like start counseling, because um, virtual counseling is a thing. If you've been getting those nudges to like move your body um, and like work out more, if you've been getting those nudges to meditate more or whatever it is, follow those and know that those are sent from higher knowledge. Know that those are sent from a higher wisdom, a knowledge base that is higher than yourself. And that the only thing that's going to stand in the way is you not articulating that that's what you need to do to other people. Okay? So do that, damn it. Um, and um, I don't know if you guys have realized this or not, but Instagram now allows you to uh, upload 15 minute videos when you are uploading them from your phone. Um, so I am going to draw three more cards to, uh, for everybody. Oh, I love it, I love it. So we have responsibility, the 10 of wands, and heart chakra. The heart chakra card says, receive love, show love, forgive, repeat. And then we have 10 of wands and responsibility. Your responsibility is to your higher self, is to your heart chakra, is to the love that you need to feel for yourself first. If you feel overburdened, if you feel overwhelmed, it's time to ask for help. As a collective, whether you pick, whatever message you picked, your responsibility is to look after yourself and ask for help if things are distracting you and ask for help if things are getting to be too much for you, okay? All right, so like I said, you can order the um, Shits and Giggles Oracle at the link in my bio. You can also order the Angels and F-Bombs at the link in my bio as well. And you can book a reading at the link in my bio, sign up for Angels and You. And pretty much anything you wanna do with me is gonna be at the link in my bio. There's also a free um, meditation at the link in my bio as well um, from Francisco for you to connect to Source Energy. So I hope that you all have a wonderful week. Um, leave me a heart um, comment down below. And uh, yeah, tell me how you are going to embody the message that you picked for this week. Don't forget to share this video with people who you think might benefit from it. I'm sending you so much love and tons of blessings. And I love you guys.